word of unfailing love Matthew chapter 11 After Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples he went on from there to teach and preach in the towns of Galilee when John who was in prison heard about the deeds of the Messiah he sent his disciples to ask him are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else jesus replied go back and report to john what you hear and see the blind receive sight the lame walk those who have leprosy are cleansed the deaf hear the dead are raised and the good news is proclaimed to the poor blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me as john's disciples were leaving jesus began to speak to the crowd about john what did you go out into the wilderness to see a reed swayed by the wind if not what did you go out to see a man dressed in fine clothes no those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces then what did you go out to see a prophet yes i tell you and more than a prophet this is the one about whom it is written i will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before you truly i tell you among those born of women there has not risen anyone greater than john the baptist yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence and violent people have been riding it for all the prophets and the law prophesied until john and if you are willing to accept it he is the eliza who was to come whoever has ears let them hear to what can i compare this generation they are like children sitting in the market places and calling out to others we played the pipe for you and you did not dance we sang a ditch and you did not mourn for john came neither eating nor drinking and they say he has a demon the son of man came eating and drinking and they say he is a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners but wisdom is proved right by her deeds then jesus began to denounce the towns in which most of his miracles had been performed because they did not repent o to you corazin o to you bethsaida for if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in tyre and sidon they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes but i tell you it will be more bearable for tyre and sidon on the day of judgment than for you and you capana home will you be lifted to the heavens no you will go down to hades for if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in sodom it would have remained to this day but i tell you that it will be more bearable for sodom on the day of judgment than for you at that time jesus said i praise you father lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children yes father for this is what you are pleased to do 
all things have been committed to me by my father no one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him come to me all you are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light matthew chapter 12 at that time jesus went through the grain fields on the sabbath his disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them when the pharisees saw this they said to him look your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the sabbath he answered haven't you read what david did when he and his companions were hungry he entered the house of god and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread which was not lawful for them to do but only for the priests or haven't you read in the law that the priests on sabbath duty in the temple discreet the sabbath and yet are innocent i tell you that something greater than the temple is here if you had known what these words mean i desire mercy not sacrifice you would not have condemned the innocent for the son of man is lord of the sabbath going on from that place he went into the synagogue and a man with a shriveled hand was there looking for a reason to bring charges against jesus they asked him is it lawful to heal on the sabbath he said to them if any of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the sabbath will you not take hold of it and lift it out how much more valuable is a person than a sheep therefore it is lawful to do good on the sabbath then he said to the man stretch out your hand so he stretched it out and it was completely restored just as sound as the other but the pharisees went out and plotted how they might kill jesus aware of this jesus withdrew from that place a large crowd followed him and he healed all who were ill he warned them not to tell others about him this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet isaiah here is my servant whom i have chosen the one i love in whom i delight i will put my spirit on him and he will proclaim justice to the nations he will not quarrel or cry out no one will hear his voice in the streets a bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering wick he will not snuff off till he has brought justice through to victory in his name the nations will put their hope then they brought him a demon possessed man who was blind and mute and jesus healed him so that he could both talk and see all the people were astonished and said could this be the son of david but when the pharisees heard this they said it is only by beelzebul the prince of demons that this fellow drives out demons jesus knew their thoughts and said to them every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined and every city or household divided against itself will not stand if satan drives out satan he is divided against himself how then can his kingdom stand 
and if I drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your people drive them out? So then, they will be your judges. By if it, by if it is by the Spirit of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man, then he can plunder his house. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. And so I tell you, every kind of sin and slander can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven either in this age or in the age to come. Make a tree good and its fruit will be good. And make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken for by your words you will be acquitted and by your words you will be condemned then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him teacher we want to see a sign from you He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, the men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with the generation, with this generation, and condemn it. But they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now, something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will rise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now, something greater than Solomon is here. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. That is how it will be with this wicked generation. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brothers stood outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, your mother and brother are standing outside wanting to speak to you. He replied to him, who is my mother 
and who are my brothers pointing to his disciples he said here are my mother and my brothers for whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother matthew chapter 13 that same day jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it while all the people stood on the shore then he told them many things in parables saying a farmer went out to sow his seed as he was scattering the seed some fell along the path and the birds came and eat it up some fell on the rocky places where it did not have much soil it sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow but when the sun came up the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root other seeds fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop a hundred sixty and thirty times what was sown whoever has ears let them hear the disciples came to him and asked why do you speak to the people in parables he replied because the kingdom of the because the knowledge of the secret of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you but not to them whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance whoever doesn't have even what they have will be taken from them this is why i speak to them this is why i speak to them in parables those seeing they do not see though hearing they do not hear or understand in them is fulfilled the prophecy of isaiah you will be ever hearing but never understanding you will be ever seeing but never perceiving for this people's heart has become callous they hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes otherwise they might see with their eyes hear with their ears understand with their heart and turn and i would heal them blessed but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear for truly i tell you many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it and to hear what you hear but did not hear it listen then to what the parable of the sower means when anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart this is the seed sown along the path the seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy but since they had no root they last only a short time when trouble or persecution comes because of the word they quickly fall away the seed falling among the the seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word but the worries of this life and the deceitful deceitfulness of wealth choke the word making it unfruitful but the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it this is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred sixty and thirty times what was sown jesus told to them another parable 
the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in the field but while everyone was sleeping his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away when the wheat sprouted and formed heads then the weeds also appeared the owner's servants came up to him and said sir didn't you sow good seed in your field where then did the weeds come from an enemy did this he replied the servants asked him do you want us to go and pull them up no he answered because while you are pulling the weeds you may uproot the wheat with them let both grow together until the harvest at that time i will tell the harvesters first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn he told them another parable the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his field though it is the smallest of all seeds yet when it grows it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds come and perch in its branches he told them still another parable the kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables he did not say anything to them without using a parable so was fulfilled what was spoken through the prophet i will open my mouth in parables i will utter things hidden since the creation of the world then he left the crowd and went into the house his disciples came to him and said explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field he answered the one who sowed the good seed is the son of man the field is the world and the good seed stands for the people of the kingdom the weeds are the people of the evil one and the enemy who sows them is the devil the harvest is the end of the age and the harvesters are angels as the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire so it will be at the end of the age the son of man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil they will throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth then the righteous will shine like sun in the kingdom of their father whoever has ears let them hear the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field when a man found it he had it again he hid it again and then in his joy went and sold all he had and brought the field again the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls when he found one of great value he went away and sold everything he had and bought it once again the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish when it was full the fishermen pulled it up on the shore then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets but threw the bad away this is how it will be at the end of the age the angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth have you understood all these things jesus asked yes they replied he said to them therefore 
every teacher of the law who has become a disciple in the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a house who brings out his storeroom who brings out of his storeroom new treasures as well as old when jesus had finished these parables he moved on from there coming to his hometown he began teaching the people in their synagogue and they were amazed where did this man get this wisdom and see and these miracles and these miraculous powers they asked where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers they asked isn't this the carpenter's son isn't his mother's name mary and aren't his brothers james joseph simon and judas aren't all his sisters with us where then did this man get all these things and they took offense at him but jesus said to them a prophet is not without honor except in his own town and in his own home and he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith Matthew chapter 14 At that time Herod the tetrarch heard the reports about Jesus and he said to his attendants This is John the Baptist He has risen from the dead That is why miraculous powers are at work in him now herod had arrested john and bound him and put him in prison because of herodias his brother philip's wife for john had been saying to him it is not lawful for you to have her herod wanted to kill john but he was afraid of the people because they considered john a prophet on herod's birthday the daughter of herodias danced for the guests and pleased herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked prompted by her mother she said give me here on a platter the head of john the baptist The king was distressed but because of his oaths and his dinner guests he ordered that her request be granted and had John beheaded in the prison his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl who carried it to her mother John's disciples came and took his body and buried it then they went and told jesus when jesus heard about what had happened he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place hearing of this the crowds followed him on foot from the towns when jesus landed and saw a large crowd he had compassion on them and healed their sick as evening approached the disciples came to him and said this is a remote place and it's already getting late send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food jesus replied they do not need to go away you give them something to eat we have here only five loaves of bread and two fish they answered bring them here to me he said and he directed the people to sit down on the grass taking the five loaves 
and the two fish and looking up to heaven he gave thanks and broke the loaves then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people they all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over the number of those who ate was about 5000 men besides women and children immediately jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd after he had dismissed them he went up on a mountain side by himself to pray later that night he was there alone and the boat was already a considerable distance from the land buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it shortly before dawn jesus went out to them walking on the lake when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it's a ghost they said and cried out in fear but jesus immediately said to them take courage it is i don't be afraid lord if it's you peter replied tell me to come to you on the water come he said then peter got down of the boat walked on the water and came toward jesus but when he saw the wind he was afraid and beginning to sink cried out lord save us immediately jesus reached out his hand and caught him you of little faith he said why did you doubt and when they climbed into the boat the wind died down then those who were in the boat worshiped him saying truly you are the son of god when they had crossed over they landed at genesaret and when the men of that place recognized jesus they sent word to all the surrounding country people brought all the sick to him and begged him to let the sick just touch the edge of his cloak and all who touched it were healed matthew chapter 15 then some pharisees and teachers of the law came to jesus from jerusalem and asked why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders they don't wash their hands before they eat jesus replied and why do you break the command of god for the sake of your tradition for god said honor your father and mother and anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death but you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to god they are not to honor their father or mother with it thus you nullify the word of god for the sake of your tradition you hypocrites isaiah was right when his prophet when he prophesied about you these people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me they worship me in vain their teachings are merely human rules jesus called the crowd to him and said listen and understand what goes into someone someone's mouth does not defile them but what comes out of their mouth that is what defiles them then the disciples came to him and asked do you know that the pharisees were offended when they heard this and replied he replied every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots leave them they are blind guides if the blind lead the blind both will fall into a pit peter said explain the parable to us are you still so dull jesus asked them 
don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body but the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart and these defile them for out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false testimony slander these are what defile a person but eating with unwashed hands doesn't defile them leaving that place jesus withdrew to the region of tyre and sidon a canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him carrying crying out lord son of david have mercy on me my daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly jesus did not answer a word so his disciples came to him and urged him send her away for she keeps crying she keeps crying out after us he answered i was sent only to the lost sheep of israel the woman came and knelt before him lord help me she said he replied it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs yes it is lord she said even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table then jesus said to her woman you have great faith your request is granted and her daughter was healed at that moment jesus left there and went along the sea of galilee then he went up on the mountain side and sat down great crowds came to him bringing the lame the blind the crippled the mute and many others and laid them at his feet and he healed them the people were amazed what they saw the mute speaking the crippled made well the lame walking and the blind seeing and the blind seeing and they praised the god of israel jesus called his disciples to him and said i have compassion for these people they have already been with us 3 days and have nothing to eat i do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way his disciples answered where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd how many loaves do you have jesus asked seven they replied and a few small fish he told the crowd to sit down and uh, to sit down on the ground then he took the seven loaves and the fish and when he had given thanks he broke them and gave them to the disciples and they in turn to the people they all ate and were satisfied afterwards the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over the number of those who ate was 4000 men besides women and children after jesus had sent the crowd away he got into the boat and went to the vicinity of magadan